We're now joined by Jose Cardenas. He has served under former U.S. President George W. Bush as a specialist on national security issues and foreign relations. He is also an expert in Latin America relations. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about which country, is it going to be the United States or Cuba, will benefit more from this agreement. There are several U.S. companies, industries who are really anxious to begin doing business in Cuba. Well, Elaine, the, the, uh, the, the first thing to understand about what, what President Obama announced this week is that this is a first step. It's a first step in what's likely to be a very long and difficult process. The president is, uh, for example, he did not lift uh, the full embargo. He, the president does not have the authority to uh, open Cuba up for U.S. investment or tourist travel. But he does have authority to work in certain areas as mandated by U.S. law, telecommunications, uh, some pr what they call purposeful travel. That is, uh, religious groups, scientific groups, uh, researchers, uh, things of that nature. So what he basically did is uh, President moved first to, uh, to, to lay the gauntlet down to the government of Raul Castro. And I think what the White House is thinking in this process is that, that the Castro government has two ways to react to this. They could either moderate their behavior and therefore create momentum for the United States to go further, or the Castro government will continue to do some things we don't like on human rights, and then the president will likely not move uh, any further in, in bilateral relations. So not so fast yet is what you're saying. Correct. But what change of those listed do you think will happen first or the fastest? Well, I, I think that what you're going to see is you're going to see a, an increased engagement by the American uh, people with, with Cuba. And what, what the White House wants to accomplish is more interaction with the Cuban people and that is they want to leverage the United States advantages in resources and expertise to give a boost to limited uh, private enterprise that the Castro regime uh, has, uh, has legalized in Cuba. So it is a, it's a difficult dance for everybody involved because the White House intent is not to rescue the Castro regime. It is to empower the Cuban people to, uh, to be able to take care of themselves without relying on, on the Cuban government. So it's a difficult question to answer at this point. But uh, the, the momentum will definitely be on the U.S. side from the, from the, uh, from the people to people uh, perspective to try and engage with Cubans to give them uh, some hope that things can, can change. They, they want to sort of... Uh, uh, crystallize a bottom-up movement of Cubans to to basically uh, be more in control of their destiny. All right, Jose Cardenas, we appreciate your time and insight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank on you. The show.